good people. Hello, good people. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's perspective. It's just my perspective on a few things. I posted um, a share, something I shared, something that was shared, and I reposted it with um, an annotation on it about the need to follow through. There's so much attention on this matter now, for whatever reason. Unfortunately, um, Mr. Floyd was not the first death at the hands of um, law enforcement, those who are sworn to protect and defend. But for whatever reason, this time, there is such a time as this that has all of the attention and has all of the energy and the fervor and the fervency and it feels different this time. So, so for me to talk about anything less, it just seems like I would be dull of hearing. Well, hello, Mr. Air Greed. Uh, it just feels like, to me, in, in my gut, it feels as if it would be insensitive, out of timing, out of place for me to, to not tie anything that I'm going to say into the change that must come. I don't want to talk about um, how to improve your business, how to be a better parent, how to be a better leader, if I cannot tie it to how to make a very real change in our nation, a change that I believe all of us have a role to play in, all of us, not just chocolate people, everyone who is able to sound the alarm must get in and, and ride this wave of attention and fervency that we're in. And so, um, for those who would be inclined to say, okay, okay, I get it, yeah, it's wrong, and we need to stop it, Let's, but can we move on? This is depressing, this feels too heavy, I don't wanna keep staying in this heavy place. For those who would be inclined to say that, I would just ask, something that I've, I've often said you can only see from where you stand and so my ask of you is that you would shift where you're standing and put on the shoes of someone who has been there and done that to have to walk in a place of fear when you are out and about and just trying to do what people do living and loving and marrying and and raising a family and starting a business and buying a home just everyday things that so many take for granted i need you to shift your perspective because you have the luxury to be tired of this oh my goodness how long is it going to go on i get it i get it it's wrong and so yeah i put up a post too and you're ready to move on shift your perspective Put your shoes and your heart and your life and your thoughts and your mind and your families, your babies, into the place of one who can't just escape. Put it in, 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 the, in the realm of those who can't get out of their skin, wouldn't if we tried, wouldn't have no desire to do that. Put yourself in the other person's shoes who cannot escape who can't just turn off the TV and make it go away. Oh, okay, I got enough of that for today. Where there is no escape. So do that shift for me. Do it for yourself. You don't even have to do it for me. Do it for yourself. You can never fully understand someone else's fear, but we can understand everyone's grief if we look deep enough. If we look deep enough, absolutely. There has to be a will. Because for the people who continue to say, thank you, Eric, for, for those who continue to say, I just don't get it. I don't understand. It's never happened to me. And I feel bad for it, but I, you know, I just don't understand. 
I'm going to be bold enough to say it's because you don't want to understand. Because understanding will mandate some action on your part. And if, if staying ignorant to a, a slice of so society allows me to stay in my comfort zone and to stay in my bubble, then yeah, yeah. Because I don't want to be uncomfortable. I don't want to feel bad. I don't want to feel guilty. I don't want to feel like it's my fault too and I'm part of the problem. So for those who continue to say, well, I don't understand. You don't want to understand. You don't choose to understand. Um, so I, I, I will end with this. What I posted earlier. We can protest, we can pray, we can, we can plan, we can, um, you know, we can spend our money more wisely, we can boycott. If we do not follow through and get to the polls any kind of way, whether it's absentee, whether it's a drive-through, whether it's a mail-in, whether it's a whatever we might look like come November, if we don't follow through at the polls, we've wasted a lot of time. And time is life. <laughs> yes, Eric, send them on out here. So, so, so I just want to make sure that we're not, you know, being swept up into the emotion of the time because everyone's doing it and it's popular and it's, it's the right thing to do right now. It's politically correct in some circles to do and I want to show that I believe and I, I stand for my fellow brown brothers and sisters. If that is not going to continue into November continue through and into November, then, then we've wasted a lot of time. And let me say this last thing, I promise it's last for today. I don't live in Disneyland, so I clearly understand that for time is life. People say time is money, time is life. 400 years of a reality cannot, will not be shifted in a year. It wasn't shifted in eight years. It, 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 it still continues, but it has to start somewhere. And so, so stay strong, remain, remain fervent, keep pushing, keep this at the forefront, educate those who desire to want to know more, even though Dr. Google is alive and well. You can find recipes for stuff. You can find out how to fix your broken chimney, surely you can find out what racial reconciliation looks like on a personal dial it back, dial it back to a personal level and find out what you can do to, to create a new reality for your grandbabies, my grandchildren. Okay, that is all I have for you today. Thank you for jumping in here with me Monday through Friday, California time. I'll join you noonish to talk through um, just a perspective, just a different perspective. Take real good care of yourselves. We need each other. We need each other. Um, take good care of yourselves until tomorrow. And I hope to see you then.